everyone. Welcome to the spoiler review of Hacksaw Ridge. Um, this is Apocalypse Movies. My name is uh, Gio, and I'm joined today by Jacob Barley. How's it going, everybody? Hey, man. All right, so uh, Hacksaw Ridge, if you haven't seen it yet, um, what are you doing here? Uh, <laughs> this movie is directed by Mel Gibson, the one and only Mel Gibson. It stars Andrew Garfield as uh, Desmond T. Doss, a real-life medic. Who during World War II saved over saved 75 men at the Battle of Okinawa. He was a soldier who refused to to um, to carry a gun, but still went out in the battlefield and showed incredible bravery, courage. The film also stars Vince Vaughn, Hugo Weaving. Uh, what's what's the girl's name? Um, what's her name? Jake. What's her name? Teresa Palmer. Teresa Palmer. Thank you. Yeah, Jake back there. <laughs> um, so let's talk about the movie first. Um, what we did like, and I'll start it off. Um, look, Mel Gibson. He's always been great when it comes to action scenes and war sequences. Braveheart was one of the best movies. Would you agree? Of like, yes, like I mean, all time, all time. <laughs> like he he won a, a director, best picture. It's well deserved. In this movie, he takes what he did so well. And brings it into Hacksaw Ridge. Like, those war sequences, action, they felt as real as possible. They're very bloody. They're very gory. Mel Gibson did not hold back. And just the sequences, like, for Andrew Garfield to run through all that and to show his bravery of um, being a medic, like, all of it felt authentic and real. Um, i say the performances were... Top notch, Vince Vaughn. We've never seen a performance <laughs> great this great Absolutely from him. Great. Hugo Weaving, who plays Andrew Garfield's father, um, um, Desmond uh, Senior, I guess you could say. Like I, I'm not sure what his name is, but he is really good in this movie. There are moments where um, he he breaks down and he cries because he's a World War One veteran. Yeah, and he doesn't want his son to go off. That's the last war. thing he yeah. wanted to see was to see his son go off, but. You know, he he ends up, you know, uh, being there for his son when his son needs him the most. And it's a really, really uh, heartfelt performance. Um, other than the performances, just the storytelling. Like, Mel Gibson, he is one hell of a storyteller. In this movie, um, you get to see Desmond before the war and after the war, kind of how it changes him, you know. Like, he never loses his faith in God no matter how much goes wrong. But, I mean, at the end, you just, you look into his eyes and you see just all the pain. Like, no matter how much he saved, he wanted to save one more. There was yeah, always... it's crazy. It's, it's, that, it's really, it's really deep stuff. Yeah. That, that's, those scenes at the end of the movie with the real life Desmond Dawes talking really add to it. And that's the oh most incredible God. thing to me about this movie is that it's a true story. Like, you can make war films that are based on battles or you know, or wars, but mm -hmm. this was a personal story. Like, this actually happened to this man, and he went through this, and that is why this movie is so incredible. Mel Gibson was able to take a true story and and turn it into a, a magical film, and that's not easy to do. It's, it's hard to tell these tragic true stories, but this is one of the greatest stories in American history, and it's it was told so brilliantly, and Andrew Garfield absolutely kills it in this mm -hmm. performance. Like, I haven't seen Silence yet, but He's going to get nominated for this or yeah. Silence. If he's better in Silence, oh my goodness, he might win the Oscar this year. Yeah. I haven't seen all the great performances, but um, he, he's definitely up there as far as performances go. Like you, like you said, Mel Gibson took Vince Vaughn, an actor who's up and down as far as dramatic performances go, oh, yeah. and he made him great. He was mm -hmm. one of the best parts of that movie, and his relationship with Desmond Dawes was one of the best parts of that movie. And that's one of my favorite parts is the relationship with all the different characters. Like he, the way he starts off with all the characters in the movie and the way it ends up, they end up truly respecting him for what he did. Oh, yeah. And I also enjoy the first half of the film. Like there's no war scenes in the first half of the film. It's kind of a love story. Yes. And, you know, I'm kind of a sucker for romance in film. So I enjoyed that part of the film and how it elevated the second half of the movie because you see, you kind of felt what he was fighting for like what he wanted to go back home to mm -hmm. and even though he had his w wife that he loved to go back home to he still kept risking his life to keep saving these these soldiers that you know weren't the nicest people to him in the, yeah. earlier in the film so just this true story is absolutely incredible the war scenes are amazing and honestly i don't really have any negatives for this movie like i there's really not any 
weak points in the film, in my opinion. Do you have any things you can point out? Or No. <laughs> Honestly, like... That's, that's and, crazy to say. And like, I, I, I promise you, like, this is one of the best movies that you will see all year. Um, it's very br- uh, violent, but it's a movie that'll make you just appreciate more what these soldiers, you know, what they, they go through, what they sacrifice, and the bravery that they have. And real quick, two, uh, one guy in particular who, when put in the right roles, he can really succeed, and that's uh, Sam Worthington. Yes, I wanted to bring him up. He was really good in that role. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. He surprised me a lot as well. And you know what actually else surprised me is it was this movie was funny in certain moments. Oh, Especially yeah. in the beginning of the movie, like the soldiers interacting, Vince Vaughn's character. It wasn't like his normal comedy, just... They used him subtle, in a way yeah. exactly to, to make the, the interactions between the soldiers funny in the beginning of the movie. And uh, yeah, when you can add some lightheartedness and comedy to this re- very dark situation, it, mm-hmm. it just adds to the brilliance of the film. And real quick, let's just talk about Mel Gibson. Like, What does a movie like this do for his career? Like, I mean, there is no denying he is one of the greatest directors of all time and mm-hmm. one of the greatest working today. For him to put out this movie, one of the best... Movies of the year. Yes. It, it might win Best Picture. I mean, that it's going to be close between that and La La Land and a couple others. Um, I think this just solidifies him as one of the best, and there's no denying that. You can talk about his personal life, but that doesn't really matter when it comes to you know when it comes to his artistic side. And you got to take his art for what it is, and not think about him outside as as a person. You know, yeah. what he did was, was bad, but it's nothing like. Like to where you can't forgive him for, you know. Right. So his his art comes first, in my opinion. Yeah, I would love for people to watch this movie, and then at the very end, when you're about to choke up, you see the directed by Mel Gibson. This guy is a truly, truly talented filmmaker, and uh, I think this is just the film he needs to revive his career because Hollywood has missed him. Well, uh, let's give a quick score uh, out of ten for Hacksaw Ridge. Um, look. I'm going to say it right now, no shame, 10 out of 10 for Hacksaw Ridge. It had romance, it had bravery, it had horror, it had action, it had everything I wanted in this movie. It's a film that I've been looking forward to. Andrew Garfield reminds everyone, because if you haven't seen The Social Network, he's a really great actor, reminded everyone of what he's capable of. Mel Gibson, a return to form, a return to greatness. And just overall, a really, really phenomenal nice. film. 10 out of 10. So I hadn't really thought about a score until now. And reviewing this film, considering I couldn't think of any negatives, I've only given three movies in my whole entire life a 10 out of 10, but you can make that four. I'm giving Hacksaw Ridge a 10 out of 10 as well. Oh, boy. It is absolutely amazing. Just thinking it. about the movie, mm-hmm. I, I, there's rarely movies where you can say there's no flaws in the film and i think hacksaw ridge is one of those yeah absolutely well thank you for joining us guys check out hacksaw ridge if you haven't it'll if it if it left your theater now it'll probably come back during the awards season yeah most likely there. yeah check it out it's a really really good film and i'm geo ramos you can find me on twitter at geo ramos 24 check out apocalypsemovies.com where you can find a lot of articles editorials and Jacob, where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at Jacob Barley underscore on this YouTube channel all the time. But please subscribe and hit that like button. We really do appreciate it. All right, guys. I'll do it for us, and we'll see you next time.